<laughs> well, you know, entomologists are kind of laughing about that. Presumably the name came from Japan with an entomologist over there that, that said, you know, the sting is so, uh, it, 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 it's so painful, it's like murder. That's what I've heard. I've never seen it in writing to say that's where it came from, but it, it has caused a, a bit of a challenge among entomologists because, uh, you know, it, it's not murdering anything. We don't know for sure. I mean, there's no smoking gun, but this, uh, this insect behaves very much like our own native bald-faced hornets, for example, and yellow jackets. And that is at the end of the season, queens emerge and they look for a place to spend the winter. So we might imagine a queen, you know, flying off to find somewhere protected for the winter and maybe accidentally making her way into something that got loaded into a shipping container or into a shipping container. Um, but it does indicate that we need to be aware that this, this hornet can travel, and that's very important. The concern we have is that it is a hunter. It is a meat eater, and it is a major hunter of other insects. And what they've seen in, J in Japan is that they go after European honeybees. Now I use that very deliberately because Asia does have its own honeybee. They have the Asian honeybee, but they're not as good at gathering and producing honey, gathering uh, nectar and producing honey. The European honeybees like we have here are very good at that. So if you have a, an insect that will fly in and within a few hours just completely destroy a hive, uh, but has been very destructive on the European honeybees, that beekeepers are keeping in Japan. They are the biggest hornet in the world. Uh, I mean, when you see pictures of them, it's not an exaggeration. I mean, I hear, yeah, you, know, you pull out a ruler, this is why I do things, you know, an inch and a half. Well, you know, inch and a half is, is pretty darn big, but I would imagine that they're flying around, you know, near at hand, they probably look about well, a foot long. Uh, you know, people that have seen these do say that they are a very big insect. And of course, you know, they buzz when they fly, all these different things. No, they're not any more aggressive than our own yellow jackets and bald-faced hornets. But I just said that in a very deliberate way. If you grew up like I did, you know, I learned firsthand. Bald-faced hornets can be very aggressive if you throw a rock at their nest. Uh, and that's the same with these, these Asian giant hornets. They're not aggressive by themselves. As far as, as, as is, is this a killer? Is it gonna murder us and all that? No, it's not any worse than our natives. And again, if we leave them alone, they'll leave us alone. However, if they do sting, you know, we can't look past the fact that this is a giant hornet. It has a big stinger. It does deliver a lot of venom. And that does bring up a concern. It's a concern we have, whether we're talking about paper wasps, yellow jackets, or our own native uh, bald-faced hornets. And that is, we don't want people who are allergic to bee stings to get near one of these things. Any more so though, that we'd want them to get near a yellow jacket's nest. Because that extra venom they pack because it's a big insect means, okay, you're more likely to have a problem if you have an allergy to bees. They are a social insect, so you have a colony. And uh, that colony's objective, of course, is to make more hornets overall. So starting out in the spring, each one of these colonies are started by a single queen. And she's all by herself, and she has to go out and gather materials to build the nest. And then once she starts laying eggs and those eggs hatch, she has to tend to the young. Now, this is where what do they do really comes into play. These are meat eaters. Now the workers go out, now what are they doing? Well, they're going out looking primarily for meat. Now, here's another behavioral trait, is that they appear to be more of a forest insect. And when you think about it, that makes a lot of sense for a meat eater because you have you know a multiple canopies, a lot more meat out there. Yes and no. As I mentioned before, we have bald-faced hornets. Now, bald-faced hornets and yellow jackets are actually 
they're both yellow jackets. You only know, think of these black and yellow, you know, small insects that sting that may make a nest in the ground or occasionally in the wall of a house. Uh, those yellow jackets are highly aggressive, again, against their nest, if you get up and bother their nest. Bald faced hornets, that's the, the, the stinging insect that make these round balls of, of paper that are hanging up in trees. The next one though that we do need to be aware of, and as a matter of fact, so far, it's all the, all the pictures that we've gotten where people are suspecting it's a uh, giant or Asian giant hornet, turns out to be another non-native. And this is called the European hornet. So we have another non-native that's already here. Now they don't seem to cause much trouble, but they are big. They look like a yellow jacket on steroids we're probably going to have a lot of folks mistaking the European hornet, you know, for the Asian giant hornet. So that is one that lives here. It's not as common as bald face or yellow jackets, but it can be mistaken for it. Well, that's an excellent question and actually one that we're very proud of here in Ohio. And that is that the Ohio Department of Agriculture, they're the regulatory agency that would be involved if these Asian giant hornets are found here to eradicate them because we don't want them to get established. Uh, they have set up a website. A person can click onto that. Now there is one stipulation. You need to have a picture. And the reason for that is pretty straightforward. You know, we don't want to, I think I've seen it flying around and there's no specimen or nothing. That just means that people have gone out investigating all kinds of things. But we are the only state beyond Washington state that has a reporting site for this Hornet. Um, so reporting it's very important. So far the site's up and running. Uh, we've gotten almost exclusively images of of European hornets, which is good. We want, even if it isn't, I mean, actually we'd rather have people send a hundred images of something else as opposed to missing that single image that could be an Asian giant hornet. So send them in, we'll take a look at it. It's been primarily European hornets. Uh, we did get a queen for a yellow jacket. So we have a reporting site and we urge that people take pictures and report it.